Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I will be teaching you guys how to run through the further properties of plane areas. Uh, this is in with, uh, with regards to the uh, second moments of area, the IXs and IYs, that's what we'll be working out today. Uh, this is the intermediate level, so we are slightly elevating in difficulty here, um, ever so slightly though. Um, so this is done by Dr. Nazrul Islam by the Department of Mechanical Engineering, as we all know from the previous videos. So the question has been extracted from the tutorial um, written by Nazrul, and here's the question. Uh, normally, it writes out as find the moments of inertia um, about the shaded area. Um, sorry, uh, within the shaded area about certain axes here, and it says use differential elements for both calculations. Uh, if you get a question like this, this is how we do it. So let's get straight into it. Um, before we do anything, let's just write down the formulas, the main formulas that we'll be using, which is the IX formula equals the integral between two states, let's say A and B. Um, now this is for IX, so it's Y squared DA, okay? So slightly uh, similar to the previous uh, cases for the properties of plane areas, but this time we're working with squared uh, squared distances. And what this value denotes by squared is actually the distance of height, okay, within the uh, previously denoted DA. If we all remember what DA meant, the strip that was illustrated here about the centroid here. <clears throat> so we're just pulling out a strip DA, the strip is DA, don't forget. Um, and about that strip, yeah, there's the length and width, okay? So the um, the height, actually, for the strip is Y, and whatever this function is, this is called Y1, and the upper function, Y2, the two heights, basically, okay? Uh, so moving on. Um, the next one, IY, is the integral between two limits, A and B, X squared, this time it's X squared, so we remember what X was from previous videos, it's simply this distance, it's just X, nothing else. Okay, so let's just work out this one quickly because it's the easiest. Uh, we always want to start with IY, remember, Y is always easy to work out with, so we're stuck between two limits. Between zero, this is our first limit, zero and a, a, okay, and we have an x squared. And from previous videos, we all remember that dA equals y2 subtracts y1 whole thing dx. Okay, so this is the differential to dx with respect to dx. Dx being x being the variable here. So what we have to first figure out is the actual functions themselves, so y1 is given, thankfully, but y2 is not present at the moment, so to find this we have to use the y equals mx plus c test. Um, but in our case we are fortunate because the intercept here actually lies at a is to a, so the a and y coordinates to a, a. So the Rise of a run is A over A, which equals 1. So it's Y2 equals X plus C. C, so what was um, Y equals A? X equals A. So you get A subtracts A. C equals 0. So therefore you get Y equals X. Simple as that. Okay? So don't forget, guys, a Y2 function is simply X. All right? I don't want to explain that thoroughly because it's general maths from high school. Okay? So we work through here to substitute our functions quickly between the limits of 0 and A, x squared multiplied by y2, which is x cubed, subtracts x to the power of 4, divided by <coughs> A, excuse me, dx, okay? So let's just keep working through. Integrate, simple high school math, divided by 4, subtracts, raise the power by 1, divided by the new power, 5a, and then it is between the limits of 0 and a, 
and we get substitute a into here, a divided by 4, a cube divided, a quadric divided by 4, a quintic divided by 5a. The a's on the right hand side cancel out inevitably. So we get a over 4, let me see, a to the power of 4 divided by 4 subtracts a to the power of 4 divided by 5. What do you know? We have similar powers. Simple quick math, 1a to the power of 4 divided by 20, and this is our moment of inertia about the y-axis, okay? Now, when we look, run back to the question quickly, uh, it's, we worked it out for the y-axis now, we've got to work out for the x-axis, okay? So it's about the shaded area, so don't forget, so everything is as previous as the other case, okay? So, moving on quickly for the i-x now. Now, we'll just quickly substitute, okay? So, y squared. Now, a trick about this part. <coughs> Now, what we do here is uh, there's a formula that we use normally. Um, it's used for rectangles. It's the formula for moments of inertia uh, for a rectangle. It is base times height cubed divided by 3. And this is for a rectangle that does not have its, um, the, let's just say, the arbitrary axis along its centroidal axis, okay, so therefore it's BHQ divided by 3, not 12, and that's about it, alright, so once you substitute the correct values, you take out the 1 on 3, alright, so all you guys got to remember now, just ignore everything I said then, so that I don't confuse you now, so just f forget about this, forget about this, let's just not confuse your minds here for a second. Let's just quickly write out an easy formula for you guys to remember. y2 cubed subtracts y1 cubed dx. Okay? Don't worry about the mumbo jumbo and as to how we derive this. That will be studied later on. Okay? So, that's the formula that you have to memorize for the ix. Okay? Right here. Now, when we substitute the uh, respective values, we end up with x cubed, sorry, subtracts x to the power of 6 divided by a cubed. You guys know what the previous values were. dx i x integrate equals, don't forget the 1 on 3 outside. Never forget them. I always make that mistake. I forget it, throw it, throw it away, and ends up stuffing up my entire answer. And uh, makes me run in circles as, to, circles as to why I got the answer wrong. That's my hint to you guys as well. If you're stuck anywhere, any point, just stop and redo the whole question. That way you can find your error along the way and revise, let's say. Substitute a divided by, so a to the power of 4 divided by 4 subtracts a to the power of 4 divided by 7. Okay? What did I do? a to the power of 7 divided by a to the power of 3. Moving on, our uh, ix value now equals 1 on 3. Okay, 7 takes 4, 3, a to the power of 4 divided by 7 to 20, uh, 28. Okay, 3's cancel out. The answer is a to the power of 4 divided by 28. There we go. Further properties of plane areas, okay? This was an easy example that I've shown you. However, the level does uh, slightly elevate here as the, to the difficulty um, because this is delving further into the properties of plane areas now. And then we'll start diving into the second moments of area. This is where we're starting to use IXX and IUs and everything. Um, but for now, this is it. This is just a beginning to show you what's going on with uh, properties of plane areas. Just a, just a um, moments of inertia about axes, that's all. Um, for my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, beams and moments, forces along those beams. Okay, thank you for watching.